Hey, what's up, Crypto Army? I'm Travis, your Crypto Newbie, bringing you my experiences. You have to learn things the hard way. Just a reminder, I'm not a financial advisor, and none of my content should be viewed as financial advice. Today, we're going to talk about how to withdraw your crypto back into fiat, and more specifically, Binance pegged USD. But you can use this same approach with other cryptos. Just realize that this one's going to be focused mainly on Binance pegged USD because that's kind of the popular crypto right now is crypto set reward in Binance pegged USD. So there's lots of questions about how do you finally get it back into fiat? And we're going to kind of resolve that today. And we're going to take a look at three different platforms. Now, one of them, Binance, I'm not going to go into the specifics of how it works because it doesn't work in Texas and a lot of the other states that ban Binance. And it's not military friendly. I've tried to get an account for the past year and I can't get one. So I can't demonstrate using that one just because I'm in the military and it just doesn't work for the verification process based on my current situation. Now, there are plenty of military members that can gain access to Binance US. It just doesn't work in my particular situation. But yes, if you use Binance US, you can withdraw back in fiat. And it is a very effective approach to get your Binance pegged USD back into your checking or savings account if you should desire to do that. Now, first up, we're going to take a look at FTX US. This is the approach I use. There's no fees for withdrawals, and I found it to be a very effective approach to get my crypto back into my checking or savings account. So that's the one I'm going to recommend. Now, there's somebody that indicated that this one potentially has some issues. It was listed as malware bytes as having riskware. I haven't had any issues with it. And this is the approach I've used for quite a while, so I recommend using this, but that's why I'm gonna cover a couple different options depending on your situation. Now, this one, FTX, does work in Texas and other states from what I've been told. I can't confirm that because I don't live in those states, but it definitely works in my state. So if you can log in, create an account, it's probably gonna work in your situation as well. So what's the process for pulling out your fiat? First, you gotta get it in there. So if you go up to wallet after you create your account, and you click on USD Stablecoins Binance Pegged USD, you'll see here, and you want to deposit. So you click that, and then you'll see the option for Deposit Binance Pegged USD. Just click that. Now, here's where you got to be careful. So there's ERC20, there's BEP2, and then there's Binance Smart Chain. This is the address that you'll want. Now, as you'll notice, this address and this address are interchangeable. So you can use either one of these, but you can't use this one. Just be aware of that. Make sure you choose the right option. You would copy this or send it over to wherever you've got your trust wallet or whatever wallet you're using. And then you would just send Binance Peg USD from whatever application you're using into FTX US. Now, once the BUSD is in your account, you're going to notice you have the option to withdraw. It's going to be USD value right up here. You can see I've still got uh, a little bit in there from the last time I withdrew. But you would click the withdraw button here, select the bank you want it to go to. And within about a day, you're going to get it back in your account. And there aren't any fees the last time I used this approach to withdraw. So the only fee that you're paying is the transfer into FTX US, which is kind of the reason I use it. It's very low on the fee process and it's extremely easy to use. Next up, we've got crypto.com. Now, I haven't actually used this approach and I have been told by others that have that it's extremely easy to use. We're gonna walk through it on their application, but after you get an account, just open up the application and then follow along the steps. And I've also been told this works in Texas and some of the other places that are blocked. So this works really well if you're in one of those locations. Now, once you're inside of crypto.com's application, you're gonna notice you're on the home screen. It's not gonna have any money because you just open up your account potentially but you wanna hit the transfer button. And after you hit the transfer button, it's gonna take you to the next screen. Now you wanna deposit, so you wanna hit the deposit button on this screen. Then it'll give you the list of options. You wanna scroll down. Again, we're not trying to deposit Binance coins, so we wanna scroll down to Binance Peg USD. Once you see Binance USD, go ahead and click that. Then you're gonna get the option for where do you wanna deposit from, and you wanna hit the crypto button right here. Then you'll be taken to this screen here. Make sure you select BSC. Once you're on BSC, share the address or copy it and send it to wherever you're importing from. And that's how you get your Binance Peg USD imported into crypto.com. Next, we go back to our home screen. You'll see the total balance up here around the home screen. Go ahead and click accounts. Now on the accounts option, you've got three options. You've got crypto wallet, you got your crypto earn, and you get your fiat wallet. Well, at this point, you should have your Binance Peg USD inside your crypto wallet. So go ahead and click there because we need to convert that into USD so we can withdraw it. Now here's where I can't really show you what to do because I don't have any money in there, so I just get an insufficient balance. But you would hit sell 
And then you're going to be confronted with an option between two areas, the crypto.com wallet and your fiat wallet. Make sure you select fiat wallet. Then you want to sell it back to the fiat that you use. For the US, you would want to do US dollars. After you're done with that process, you're going to want to go back to the accounts tab so you can select the fiat wallet. So once you're here, go ahead and select fiat wallet. Then you're going to come to this screen here. You're going to hit the transfer button. And then you're going to get the option for deposit and withdraw. Just go ahead and hit that withdraw button. Then you'll end up on this screen and you just hit the withdrawal US dollars. And then from here, you just add your bank account and withdraw to your bank account. And it'll give you the information about how long it's going to take and how much it's going to cost. And you can see here that you've got a limit of $500,000 USD or the equivalent. And then you've got the Binance US option here as well where you can also withdraw. Now again, this doesn't work in Texas and some of the other states that have banned Binance. So this won't necessarily work for everybody. And if you're in the military and you have kind of the unique situation that I've got, it's probably not gonna work for you either. But I've been told this is a very effective approach also. Now those are three options you've got depending on where you live, if you wanna pull out crypto. Now, pretty much any exchange that allows you to withdraw works. And it pretty much has to be an exchange. There really isn't another good option at this time for withdrawing your crypto back into your checking or savings account. Now, if there are other options out there, let me know in the comments. And depending on how they compare, I might cover them on this channel as well. But these are the ways I've generally found to be very effective from a cost perspective. FTX US without a fee is kind of hard to beat. And if you're using Binance Pegged USD, that's a really easy approach to withdraw your Binance Pegged USD because it's just a transfer fee from whatever wallet you've got it stored in. And you can take the same approach with any other crypto that FTX US supports on their exchange. I've emailed them and asked them to support a couple other cryptos, but I think it comes down to those cryptos getting supported on FTX and there aren't a lot of BEP20 options. So I don't know if there's a limitation for BEP20. Obviously they've got Binance pegged USD. Now, one of the other things you can consider FTX US and crypto.com. I'm not sure about Binance because I don't use that one, but FTX US and crypto.com both have card options also. Now FTX US allows you to actually pay with your crypto right on your card which means you may not need to withdraw your crypto from the exchange. And from what I've been told, you can do the exact same thing on crypto.com. So that's another option. You may not even need to pull it back to your account at all. And here's the other kind of question I would pose to you. If you're constantly depositing money from your bank account, why would you withdraw it just to put it back in there and use it again? Now, Binance pegged USD, you might need to convert it to BNB or to another crypto, but it seems like it might be a better approach just to leave it in your accounts unless you need to use the money in some way to pay a bill or some other use. But you might be able to do the exact same thing with the cards so you don't actually need to withdraw back to your account. Some other considerations is that you can transfer it to some of these exchanges and stake your crypto also so you can actually earn some passive income just by staking it or keeping it in there. Now I do have referrals in the description of this video for FTX and crypto.com. Obviously I don't have one for Binance. If you use those, it really does help support the channel. And sometimes depending on when there's promotions or not, you might actually benefit from it as well. So click on those links. You might get free stocks or you might get some free cryptos or you might just get some initial deposits in your account. So click on the link just to see if there's any free things for you as well. And it does help support the channel. Now that's all I wanted to cover on today's content. Hopefully you found it helpful. Let me know in the comments. Is there another option that I'm missing that works just as well or better than the ones I've covered on this channel? Until next time, stay strong with those diamond hands.